welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the new Hermes lip colors. And these are limited edition for the spring. So there are three lip colors. One of them is a nude. I, did, I don't have that one. When I ordered these, that one wasn't available. And I decided I really... I'm not trying to buy like a ton of Hermes lipsticks, honestly. I, they're not my favorite formula, but I couldn't resist these particular shades because they just looked so bright and summery and I just, I couldn't resist them. So I had to pick up these two and I also picked up the Universal Lip Pencil. This is one of the clear lip liners and I just thought it would be something good to have on hand and I know this thing sells out all the time. So I figured hopefully that means it's really good. So let's take a look at the lipsticks. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the packaging, the Hermes lipsticks do come in a box like this and you can see through the to the orange packaging. And inside we have a orange, an orange slide box. And then there's a little like canvas material for a pouch. And the limited edition shades all come with different color packaging. These are refillable, but you cannot purchase limited edition shades as a refill. So if you want a limited edition shade, you have to pay the extra, I think it's an extra $5. Uh, these are $72, I believe, and the regular ones are 67. So this shade here is number 45, uh, Rose Oasis. This is a satin formula. And I mean, just look at this stunning pink. I couldn't wait to try this on. And then let's look at the other one. The other one is a coral shade. It's number 52. These are both satin formula, which is my preference. The Hermes matte lipsticks, I haven't had an issue on my lips, but they do get kind of like, they ball up in the actual container. So. It gets like bumpy. So this is Corail Aqua. And look at that. So I just, I couldn't resist these colors. They look stunning. So I can't wait to try these on. Let's start with some swatches. So this is 43 Rose Oasis. And we're gonna swatch here. And just make that part a little deeper. I mean, this screams summer to me. I'm very excited about this shade. And I have to say that I like the Hermes satin formula. You know, it, as I mentioned, it's not my favorite formula, but I do like their satin version. This is number 52, Corail Aqua. And I just, I think these two shades in particular look absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to try them. And let's go ahead and do some lip swatches. We're gonna start off with number 43, Rose Oasis. And if you take a look at this bullet, you can see a tiny bit of shimmer in here. Do you see the little pieces? So again, just, I mean, look at those swatches up close. They are just so pretty. Rose Oasis from a distance. And now here is 52 Corel Aqua. And just like with the other one, you can see the faintest bit of shimmer in the actual bullet. distance. 
All right, so I didn't thoroughly clean my lips, but I did remove the lipstick so we can try on the lip pencil as well. So this is the lip pencil. Again, beautiful packaging. And it's just gonna be this style here. And it is a twist up. And just like many of the Chanel pencils, you've got the little sharpener there at the bottom. So I'm going to line my lips with this. Okay, so I applied the number 52 Corel Aqua on top of the lip liner. And I have to say that the lip liner, it's, it's really just like pure wax. So there doesn't seem to be anything special about this. So, you know, it is made in Italy, it's 0.4 grams, it has a 12 month shelf life, and I just really wanted to try it. So I think, you know, it will probably perform just the same as other clear lip liners. So, you know, it's not gonna be like a must have, but it is very nice, like the nice packaging. I like the wax here. I currently use the Sh uh, Chantecaille clear lip liner, I forget what they call that one. And, you know, it's in the wooden casing, which I like, you know, you use with a sharpener, but the waxes, if you guys are familiar with the clear wax pencils, they wear down a lot faster than the pigmented lip liners. So by the time I'm like lining my lips with the Shantikai one, I always end up feeling like the edges of the wood and it just gets a little scratchy. So this one did interest me because, you know, obviously I'm not going to be feeling that. So we'll see how it performs. Typically with the Hermes satin lipsticks, I can get a little bit of feathering around the lips. So I do recommend using a lip liner with their satin lipsticks. And so that was another reason I really wanted to try this one. Now, if you're not familiar with the Hermes lipstick packaging, these are very weighty. So they're nice and heavy. You know, this is I'm not sure exactly what it's made out of, but you know, kind of like a ceramic type texture. And then you've got the Hermes logo in a concave disc at the top. It has a very strong magnet. So it's, it's not one that's gonna come apart like in your purse, but that is, you know, you do have one of these as well. So as I mentioned, the colors on these are different because these are limited edition shades. The normal packaging for the permanent shades looks like this. You've got the gold and then black and white. And again, these are refillable as well. So you can always mix and match your shades. So to pull these out, you know, honestly, I haven't done it, but you should be able to just pull out. Yeah, there we go. Just pull this out. So if I wanted to, you know, let's say you fell in love with one of the limited edition packages, but you wanted to use permanent color, you know, you can mix and match them. Now I don't have a lot of swatch comparisons for these, particularly this coral shade. You know, this is one that was just really unique to me. So let me see what I have and we'll do a few comparison swatches. All right, so before we do some swatches, just real quickly, the texture of the satin formula, you know, it's um, a thin, comfortable feeling on the lips. I find it has plenty of slip to it, but it doesn't have like a heavy silicone feeling. It feels like a lightweight lipstick. And I find that, you know, they have average lasting power and staying power. I, I actually like them. I just, you know, for the price, I can't say that I absolutely love it. You know what I mean? So I actually have a few more shades than I expect it to be able to compare to these. So let's start swatching. I'm going to start off with the pink shade. This is number 32 Rose Palmette. And this is the one that came out in the fall. And you can see that the pink is going to be a warmer tone pink. In this and one thing I wanted to know about these is if you look at the label these are satine whereas this it just says sat so I'm not sure if that's because of the shimmer this does not have shimmer and the two new ones do now when I first saw Rose Oasis the shade that it made me think of the most is actually Lisa Eldridge this is a skyscraper rose and I don't think it's going to be 
this oh yeah I didn't realize I couldn't remember it was that much brighter but I do have some additional Lisa Eldridge ones to kind of compare and this one here is love of my life and these pink ones here from Lisa Eldridge these are not her um the love of my life is not a velvet mat and these other two are this one here is Rainbow Spill. So color-wise, Rainbow Spill is going to be the closest to Rose Oasis out of these. You can see this is going to be a little deeper. It's a matte shade, and it's also going to be a little bit more opaque versus the shimmery shade here. But they do have very similar tones. I also have one of the Dior Attic Stellar Shines, and this is 452 called Ibis Pink. And this one's a little bit of a corally shade. You can see this is, you know, it's the Attic Shine formula, which is much more sheer, but just wanted to get some ideas of similar tones. We have the Chantecai Passion Flower from last year's Hummingbird Collection. And this is one of the Lip Chics. And I thought this might go with Corel Aqua, but you can see that Passion Flower has a lot more orange in it than Corel Aqua, which really has you know, a good balance with the pink. And then this one here is Coral Bell. Okay, doesn't really go with either of them. And then we have one of the Guerlain Rouge G's. This is number 61. I do have a broken tip. My daughter jammed it in the case. But here we go. Yeah, that one's not really gonna be similar either. And this is a matte formula as well. And then I have two of the Givenchy. These are the ones that came out last spring with the sparkles. This is Sparkling Lily, number three. I'm just gonna put this one here. And you can see this one's definitely more orange. It is a beautiful shade though. I really like this one for summer. And then I also have number one in that line, the sparkling peony, put that right above it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that shade would match. It's too magenta. You can see you've got like a blue reflect in there. So those are all of my color comparisons. So I don't really have a good match for, well, none of them are the same. My closest would be Rainbow Spell from Lisa Eldridge with this one, so that's these two here but you can see that the Rose Oasis is still going to be, it's got a little bit more warmth to it. And again, it's going to be a satin formula with a little shimmer compared to a matte formula. The Corel Aqua, I really don't have anything quite like it. You know, surprisingly, this one here seems the most similar. So this one here that's most similar is the Chantecaille passion flower. Let me swatch those nearby for you. Actually, I'm going to do some hand swatches just with the ones that I think are the most similar. So here we have the Chantecai Lip Chic in passion flower. This is the Hermes in Corel Aqua. And then here we have the Lisa Eldridge in Rainbow Spill and the Hermes in Rose Oasis. So those are my closest matches. Hope that helps. Now, as for my final thoughts, as I mentioned before, the Hermes lipstick formula, it's not my favorite formula, and you would think for the price point that you know it would be your absolute favorite formula and blows everything out of the water. I don't think that's really the case. I think with the Hermes lipsticks, you're paying for the packaging, for the name, and in this case, for these particular shades. So I'm very happy I picked up these two. I absolutely love these shades. They scream summer to me. And in regards to the satin formula, I like the satin formula from Hermes. It goes on very smoothly on my lips. I don't have any issues with accentuation of dryness. I do have like a little bit of gathering with certain spots. Like if, if my lips are not nicely exfoliated, I do have a little bit of um, you know extra adherence in certain spots. But to be honest, that's true with any satin formula. So and that's really nothing different there. And 
I don't know. I just, I particularly really like these shades. The way it feels on my lips, it's a thin formula for a satin lipstick. As I mentioned, I am prone to getting a little feathering around the lip lines and so forth if I don't use a liner with the Hermes Satin Formula. And I find it to be very lightweight and comfortable on the lips. So it's a formula that I like, but it's still not my favorite formula. So whether it's worth the price or not, technically the lipsticks are not worth the price. However, if you get a lot of joy out of using them and you enjoy the packaging, the experience and so forth, then in that case, I think it is worth the price. And for me, these two shades in particular, they just, they were so summery and bright and cheerful. I just had to pick them up. So I'm very happy with these two shades and I'm very glad I decided to add them to my collection. The lip pencil is probably nothing spectacular. You know, it goes on nicely. I enjoy the packaging, you know, so I would, you know, I'm glad I picked up the lip pencil to try, but you know, whether I'll repurchase it or not, we'll see after I've used it for a while and how quickly it gets used up, but it is, you know, basically pure wax. So it should be effective at preventing feathering and so forth, but it's probably also gonna wear down pretty quickly, which would make it not worth the price point. So again, it's really, you know, just what do you wanna spend your money on to make you happy type thing. So overall, I'm very happy with my purchases. Now, if I had to pick between these two shades, honestly, I don't think I could. I really love both of them, and I think they're both fantastic for the summer. It's not very often that I can find like a more coral with a little bit of orange in it that actually looks good on my coloring. And this is one that I really like on me. So I'm very, very ecstatic to have added these and I'm very happy with these. So I ordered these from Nordstrom. Of course, you know, with the Hermes lipsticks, they go in and out of stock in the beginning. So you'll have to kind of keep checking, but they're also available on the Hermes website as well. And I believe the nude shade is there also. So I will leave all purchasing information listed down below. And that's everything for today. So I hope you enjoyed these swatches. I hope this was helpful and Hopefully spring is coming soon. We finally have a nice sunny day here. So this is, I don't know, the, the, it was just like a good day to try on lipsticks like this. It just, you know, brings a smile to your face. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and healthy and I'll see you very soon.